Welcome back. Uh, this week on In Focus, we are taking an in-depth look at the elephant and rhino poaching and the shadowy world of the illegal trade where hundreds of animals are killed each year for their tasks. Wildlife law enforcers from Africa, Asia and the United States are joining forces to crack down on poachers, smugglers and black market dealers. International training efforts aim to improve cross-border investigations, especially between Africa and China, the world's biggest consumer of illegal wildlife. Daniel Schiff reports from Bangkok. Police and customs officials in Asia are seizing record hauls of smuggled wildlife and African ivory. The illegal trade crosses borders and is well coordinated, unlike law enforcement. Freeland Foundation director Steve Galster says a recent international training effort in Bangkok aims to change that. This is hugely significant. This is unprecedented to see African investigators come together with uh, their Chinese and American and Southeast Asian counterparts. Uh, they can't stop the poaching without working together, that's for sure. Wildlife investigators from across Africa and Asia are discussing ways to crack down on wildlife poaching and trafficking gangs. Adan Aliyo represents a regional enforcement group of seven African countries. As the Sacrament Task Force, we really uh, want to see where we can work with the Asian countries and uh, China especially and uh, African countries together to exchange information, to law enforcement information to fight this illegal trade. Much of the smuggled wildlife goes through Thailand or the border with Vietnam and ends up in China as traditional medicine, trinkets or trophies. But China is stepping up enforcement and international cooperation, says law enforcement advisor and lead instructor Doug Ghostman. Putting several hundred million RMB into their budget for uh, their post along the Vietnam and China border uh, to interdict the smugglers there, which is a huge problem between Vietnam and China. Vietnam is attacking it on the Vietnam side, China on the China side. So there is progress. Juan Samin is Chief of Law Enforcement and Training at China's Endangered Species Import and Export Management Office. We hope that this meeting, aside from training, will be able to raise a cross-boundary plan of attack. In this way, all the students' countries could cooperate to attack smuggling of ivory and other endangered animal and wildlife criminal activities. Juan says with African elephant populations declining from poaching, Anti-smuggling cooperation like this between China and Africa is vital. Daniel Scharf, VOA News, Bangkok. Tomorrow we'll continue our series on poaching when we take a look at the Central African Republic where elephants are under an increasing threat as poachers become more heavily armed and sophisticated.